sunny spaces, smiling faces, happy places. But every sunny space holds a shadow. Behind every smile are sharp teeth. And every happy place has something sinister lurking just below the surface. Welcome to We Saw the Devil, the podcast diving deep into the chilling realms of true crime. Join your host, Robin, as she unravels mysteries that have left investigators baffled and armchair sleuths obsessed. Be forewarned, dear listener, We Saw the Devil is not for the faint of heart. Our unflinching exploration will take you to the darkest corners of the psyche and through the unimaginable depths of human darkness to unearth stark secrets to the harsh light of day. Nothing will be left untouched. Are you ready? Are you sure? We saw the devil. Y'all, I never thought that the day would come. (laughs) I just, I feel like, I mean, how are, first of all, how are all of you? The merge has happened. It has. She hath risen. I just... Iris, how are you feeling? <laughs> I, I'm feeling that I'm I, I'm I'm not a sinner because I'm still here. Are you a hater? <laughs> I must not be because I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. I had to pinch myself. <laughs> Guys, for those of you who are unaware, Chris Chan has officially returned to the internet. Last week, they reactivated their Facebook profile, their Facebook page, which had been in hidden status for uh, two years since the uh, since they went to jail. They Mm-mm-mm. they've tweeted and then also uh, liked a bunch of comments uh, for the last month or so. Um, but they tweeted today as well, and we have YouTube. Oh my God! Yes, we do have YouTube. <laughs> We have a YouTube video and Iris, the second I was just typing away, working my day job, minding my own business. When all of a sudden I heard a ding on my phone. What could this be? I wonder. (laughs) And I look down and it says Quickville Guardian has posted a video. I (laughs) my boo hole (laughs) fell through my legs. Like (laughs) I just grabbed my mouse, went to YouTube, and then I got 10 seconds in and I sent it to Iris. Yes, and I was like, link, please. (laughs) Here's how this is going to work, y'all. I'm going to play most of the video. Now, the video that Chris Chan posted is nine minutes and 39 seconds long. She sings through the first seven and a half minutes of it. So I'm going to play like 10, 15, 20 seconds of the singing and then play the entirety of the last two minutes where she's talking. And then we are going to have a chat. (laughs) Yes, we are. (laughs) Christine Weston Chandler's return to YouTube, October 16th, 2023, year of our I don't even know. Here you go. This is the boss, and I'm sick of waiting. Get your crap together and stop following those twerps. Prepare for stupid. Make it lucid. Prepare for stupid. Make it listen. Oh, we'll focus on one does. Once we get it, I'll be the dude. I'll call the plus. I'll be a major. Dumbass. Prepare for stupid. Make it lucid. Prepare for stupid. Make it lucid. <laughs> oh, my God. Yay and merrily to everyone. Welcome to this. That song you just heard. That was a dedicated to all the lingering and lost toxic haters, fakers, and darkest sinners that came from the 1218 half of our earth that has been bugging us for the longest of time. And why are they still lingering? You're not supposed to be doing that. Come on, get out of the picture already. You're long gone. <laughs> anyway, yes. With the 
Ultimate Miracle Chaos Control, I ascend and make my return to the internet in all that is good and well-being. I am divine and connected to everything, and I know and not know at the same time, between the consciousness, the subconsciousness, and the unconsciousness. I know all. I see all. I foreknow all. I've been there, done that, everything. So now, with that, we're still amidst our dimension merge completion and the moment of future asked. As you shall learn shortly enough with the events that happened back in late February 2006. But for now, we are on the road, on the road. On the road to the city of Quickville. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. So yeah, I'm back. I'm proud. I'm more motivated. I got the boundaries set. <laughs> so later haters, fakers, y'all gone. We're sticking with good positivity, light power, and righteousness. Keep on zapping it up. All the good ones, the good life, power, and righteousness. You all continue to do excellent and very well. I know so because I've got all these crosses on the palms of my hands and the image and the etchings of where I have been hung on that cross back in Nazareth many a millennia ago. See y'all later. Iris, first thoughts after you watch that. Uh, first thoughts, I think I lost a couple of brain cells. Uh, second thought was, I've heard these songs before because my kids used to watch Pokemon. And that was the, the music to Team Rocket. I was not um, aware. Thank you for educating me because I had no idea. <laughs> oh, None. well, you were probably... Uh, you were... If you didn't watch Pokemon as a kid, it was because you were interested in other things. But my kids were about the same age you're, you were at the time, I think. Yeah, because you were born in the 90s? 84. Oh, okay. 84. Oh, okay. So, yeah. No. But still, you might have watched them. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely. I knew people who did. I never did. I thought about it, and I came up with a couple song titles that it could be, like in my own head. Holy Delusions and D Major. <laughs> <laughs> God. the other ones aren't really that funny but like <laughs> what the fuck i um yes i, I don't you know I, i'm i am lost for words being that um it's been so long since he's posted for one um that he is putting it as content for for children it's labeled for kids mm -hmm. so it means that if YouTube doesn't see anything wrong in there, he could end up on kids' YouTube. Mm -hmm. So I um, went to my, I have my grandson's account for uh, YouTube for all the kids. I I blocked anything that was CWCville. I just everything. I mean, with good cause. Uh, yeah. That was one of the big talking points. Uh, we'll get into the content of this video here in a moment. But before you go any further, if you have a kid, I believe the account has been blocked. A coworker did actually check, you know, for his kids. And yes, Good. the channel has been officially removed from you know, being accessed by a YouTube kids accounts. Okay. Good. Good. Because, wow. Oh, th that was a shocker right there. Mm -hmm. But, um. My first thoughts, same. I mean, okay, so putting the puzzle pieces together, we had, well, a couple weeks ago, we had Chris uh, Chan message one of his friends and say, hey, my return is, you know, my return is coming, and then, and then did a shout out to an, an energy drink. So we had that, and Chris said, I'm returning to the internet. Earlier this week, the Facebook page became active, and for those of you who have not uh, looked or if you're not aware the very most recent picture, I'm looking at it right now, is of Chris Chan's mother. 
Oh, no way. Really? Yeah. Here, I'm sending it to you right now, and you can take a look. It's a picture from July 11th, 2021. Barbie Chan got a styling haircut. I did that. First time cutting someone, first time cutting anyone's hair. It looks really good. Oh, wow. And I mean, oh, it, that's, yeah. Yeah. So wow. that was unpublished. Other posts were removed, mind you, but this one remained. Considering the charges against Chris, I'm pretty floored by that, that Chris decided to to leave this photo. But I yeah. digress. Well, according um, to him, he did nothing wrong. Right. According to him, nothing. Just soul bonding, as he calls it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Iris, why don't you talk about the Twitter post today? Okay, so um, you had sent me the the Twitter, and I wow. So th- there's a lot of interesting things on there. It, most of what I saw in the Twitter chat itself. So the post itself is interesting because it's it's four pictures. Yep. One of it is his room. Another is oh, I don't know some Sonic little weird things. It's Sonic, and then it looks like, oh, it's his nemesis, what's-her-face from, from the university. Mary Lee Walsh? Yeah, Mary Lee Walsh. Is it Mary Lee Walsh? That's what it looks like, because was didn't he create her as a nemesis in, uh, in the universe? Yes. Okay, so that's what it is. There in, then there is... Back. Uh, there is a poster that he must have drawn and it is be it says and i quote beware all toxic haters sinners and darkest demonics Demonics. (laughs) for i am jesus god damn it jesus christine weston chandler sonichu the goddess blue heart and your lord and god how are you a goddess and a god at the same time okay never mind (laughs) and i am bringing personally the second coming that is what what it that's the little picture yes that is yeah Mm. (laughs) (laughs) and and what is what is up with that (laughs) and then it's his sonichu charm and it is this crusty <laughs> crusty disgusting and he has like i don't know it was like maybe moonstone charms Ooh. also i uh i don't know <laughs> yeah so this is the medallion uh if you go to uh Chris's, the medallion okay. not the charm yeah yeah it's the medallion <laughs> and uh it's seen some better days so oh my god yes now here's what's so interesting to me okay so this is his sonichu medallion you know everyone's seen it Uh, it's currently looks to be on a silver chain it's you know pretty big it's always front facing like you always see sonichu's face right he he flipped it during the video yeah he kept flipping it backwards and all of the photos that we've seen since chris has been out of jail and was released and all charges were dropped it's backwards then as well. So like, is there some sort of deeper meaning that I am not I privy to might here? Be. So did it have that little crystal ball thing? No, I have never seen that before in my life. That's added. Like you can see where he, like the blue circles around it, right? where he like circles. model magic something. Right. So I'm wondering that the reason why it looks charred and nasty on the other side is because he tried to melt this in. Oh, that's interesting. That would be possible. Because look how melted that is. Yeah, like people are saying it's dirty and worn down, but you're right. That looks melted. You can see the bubbles. melted. You can see the bubbles. It looks like he was trying to write something. Um, I think what he did is he probably took um, Play-Doh or something, stuck that Mm -hmm. crystal or marble or whatever it is, and tried to cook it into the back of the medallion. Yeah, something. Maybe it has to do with the merge, which, guys, man. So, we'll get it. I don't even know where to start. 
I'm only episode 15 into this, sh- mm. four, episode 14 into this shit now, and we're not even halfway through the Chris Chan timeline, and then here we are on the other side of it from You're 2014. You're going to advance it. You're going to have to do oh my- spoilers, man. This is going to be like the curious case of Benjamin Button, but of Chris Chan. <laughs> <laughs> this shit. Okay, so before Chris Chan went to jail, as I stated in the previous episode, his mental health just fucking tanked. tanked. I'm talking tanked. Tanked. We'll get into a couple big instances in Chris and Christery, but basically all you need to know is that he came up against a series of trolls. Um, one particularly bad, bad, bad group of people was called the Ideas Guys. And they tormented Chris and basically convinced him of his own delusions. A lot of other stuff. This is just, I'm going to continue this series so you get fully in depth up to date, but this is just the TLDR. So by the end of it, Chris believed that he was Jesus Christ reincarnated and that there is a merge that's going to happen and that he is basically going to be like the God of this universe. And Chris actually believed that. A lot of the YouTube videos from two, two and a half years ago are about Chris talking about the merge. I mean, he even came up with like the name of the new world, like 1.BC9642. Like there's a number even for the world. And it's going to be a dimensional merge where comet characters like Sauna Chu and Rose Chu and Chris listed out a bunch of others merges with the real world. And in that time, I mean, it's basically revelations, right, Iris? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, what more do you want to add? Well, so th- this whole concept, though, really isn't um, original. No. Um, <laughs> Roger Rabbit. Who? Who? I mean that that that's that's what he is. That's that is his reality. He is thinking that when our reality and the comic book reality merge, this is going to be it. It's going to be Toontown. Yes. And right. this is the thing about it is like this isn't as far like totally far off. If you guys recall in one of the episodes I talked about the conversation played the conversation that he had with Alec uh Benson Leary, Chris said, Chris told Alec, yes, cartoons are real. They are real things. They are real sentient beings. Right, right. I remember listening to to that episode and, and I mean it wasn't guy. a long way off. No, <laughs> right. no, no. <laughs> I mean, according to him, th- this is this is his reality, and it is so sad. And I, I just don't know if it, if it has a lot to do with him trying to stay relevant for the trolls. I don't know. It's just it's wild, you know. And that's the thing. And I think what's so shocking to so many of us is. And we'll get into the content now, but, you know, we were all thinking, hey, in the next episode, which I've already recorded, uh, you guys are going to hear me talk about Chris's mental health scale. And so basically what I did is kind of adjusted, you know, my opinion of where Chris lies on uh, the mental health scale, like his own personal scale over the years. So Chris was at like probably a solid eight or nine during high school. Very functional, you know, did stuff, still like the weird, you know, kid. But that just starts to go down and down and down and down as you have Megan Schroeder and him being touchy feely and then him being more of a predator and his boundaries. And, you know, it just keeps going down and down. So like in the last episode, when we're uh, talking about like the house burning down and all of that stuff, he was probably at like a five or six there, a five or six. Like that's still mid mid mental health. Right. Yeah. Before Chris Chan went to jail, he was at like a two. So what you guys think is bad now in the episodes and the weekly episodes that I'm putting out, it actually gets so much fucking worse. It, um, yeah. So, but um, I just, <laughs> I just have this theory about this though, right? For me, Chris looks like the person that high school bullies would pick on and pick yes. on hard. Very hard. And I mean, that- his, pay- his dad had to pay for him, him to have a friend right so all this uh, home life and everything i think probably started his decline and uh, um chris is not dumb he is intelligent and he has watched his mother and his father 
manipulate each other. And a child learns how to do these things. To me, I think he has manipulated his reality to a point that either he is conscious of the manipulation that he is doing and is using it to his advantage, or he has manipulated his world and his reality so much that he now believes that manipulation. It's kind of like how when a person lies so much that they start believing their own lies. Yeah. I think this is the same thing. I mean, I, I don't want to say that he is not on the spectrum because he very much shows a lot of the of the markers. Don't forget too that he was kind of like unofficially diagnosed when he was itty bitty. And then so much that like the school told his parents that he was special needs. And then his dad mm -hmm. moved the whole last family into like a neighboring city just to get away from special needs school. True. But again, also, um, if a parent tells a kid that you're a dummy constantly, then that kid's going to be dumb. I could read something on a web MD, go see a psychologist and pretend that I'm on the spectrum because now I know that because I'm on the spectrum, I will have a shield that I can use either because I'm an idiot and, and I'm doing stupid shit or a shield as poor me. I'm the spectrum kid that everybody's picking on. But that's my take. That is my. That's true, too. You know, you, you are there's there's nurture and nature and that that's the merge. <laughs> oh, that's and the real merge. Forget, oh, my God. And don't forget, too, that his um, he was nonverbal until he was five. Yeah, but maybe he really didn't have anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Again, again, you know, I'm I'm not. Uh, we're not trying to be disrespectful for anybody on the no. spectrum. Um, no, not at all. But oh. this guy, his reality is, is so skewed. The only reason why people pay attention to him, a person that has never had any other friends but like you said robin the bullies are kind of like his friends that's what makes him relevant so why wouldn't i do outrageous and stupid shit so the bullies will keep up with me and and do things yeah i mean you see people not on the spectrum do that as well you know yeah yeah exactly all the time um <clears throat> so i guess let's talk about the content of this video so yes basically there's seven and a half minutes of him singing the what team what what kind of team what <laughs> team rocket. rocket from pokemon those are the bad guys and chris is wearing tights mm. floral or navy floral. and white floral tights with little butterflies <laughs> <laughs> with little butterflies because fashion sense chris has had kind of the same fashion sense since uh chris announced that he was trans now this is something that iris and i had a really brief conversation about before we started recording this episode is how we would actually address chris how we would refer to chris chris did come out as trans back in 2014 they have solidified that choice chris began taking hormones i believe in jail and yes chris has exhibited signs of dysphoria throughout um their life you know, personal theory. And I know that technically, you know, if you want to be like the SJW, like it's not up to me to have to theorize what someone else's gender is. If we misgender Chris, it it's not that we're doing it on purpose. It's hard for I'm sure for 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 Robin, who's a longtime follower of, of Chris. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to rephrase that? <laughs> Okay, who has been fascinated with the mess that Chris Chan is? How about that? Especially in today's context. <laughs> oh God, I'm crying. <laughs> We're used to seeing Christine as Chris him, so we don't mean to misgender on purpose. <laughs> no we really don't <laughs> and... <laughs> hmm. 
I mean, it's not like we touched a Commodore 64 and all of a sudden <laughs> we're we're a goddess, okay? Right. Oh god, I was still laughing over the follower thing. Um <laughs> Our what? Lord and Savior Jesus Christine. <laughs> yes, and that's the thing too is I've I've have covered and you know I mean lightly followed. Let's keep it real. You know Chris's exploits across the internet for over a decade. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> the second that came out of my mouth, <laughs> Jesus wept. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, hell long time. <clears throat> oh god. Okay, but I have been following Chris for a long time. Plus I've been doing the episodes in the series and you know, very much like sticking with he up until 2014, you know, and Chris has also Chris Chris also replies to he pronouns as well. So, um apologies, we are not trying to offend anyone, um you know, as far as misgendering or anything like that. It's just naturally going to go back and forth and even like Kiwi tapes, uh, the quickie, you know, a lot of that, like everyone, mm -hmm. um, even Chris goes back and forth. Whew, just wanted to get that out there. So <laughs> the content of this video, Chris is singing along to the song and talks about the guardian of Quickville and come on to Quickville and kind of talks about like a happy place and then starts putting down uh, the haters. Stupid is all you're worth. I mean, it is a word salad for sure. It is. It is something that Kiwi Tapes and uh, his buddy had said was that Chris, what is on the YouTube description, it doesn't doesn't sound like Chris. Some of it does, but there is a wording, there is a sentence that just does not sound like him. It's a real sentence, I guess I could say. Read the whole thing, girl. Okay, here here is the description of uh, <laughs> the the sentence that everybody is saying it did not come from him. And it says, I have been taught to use more advanced programs for video editing and then some. So interesting. Right? I'm gonna read so the video I'm gonna read the whole caption. Right. Go go for it. Go for it. The video is called Jesus Christ Chan Sonichu Prime Resurrected and Returned. And yes, Chris now refers to themselves as Jesus Christ, <laughs> as they did before they went to jail. Okay, so then it says, glory be to all who are light powered, good, righteous, and neutrals with ability to be good. There is only good remaining on this earth in this universe and timeline as we survive and continue onward in light powered glory. The worst of toxic sinners are left behind and gone. Now we redeem the remainder of the minority who remain. All is all is and shall be good with the ultimate miracle and the dimension merges completion. Let your auras and chakras be aligned and healed. This pair of rewarded songs are appropriate with the fall of the toxic ones and the rise of the light powered and good. I have been taught to use more advanced programs for video editing and then some. And then Chris drops a link to the Etsy store. Visit the Etsy store for often updated items we have for sale as well. Thank you and bless you all. Be safe and well. Mrs. Jesus Christine Weston Chandler Sonichu Prime. Holy fuck. Dude. And and, and see, and there's the the, the misalignment or, or the misgendering. Okay, he calls yes. himself first Jesus Christ and then Jesus Christine. Yes. And so if if Mrs. We... Jesus Christine Weston yeah, Chandler Sonichu yeah. Prime. Mrs. Hmm? And that's another thing. Chris is okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say this too. Oh shit. Okay. So in the last couple weeks, like last three weeks to a month, Chris has been randomly spotted out and about around like Charlottesville, um, I think Russellville, um, Virginia. The last four times with this particular woman. Uh, at first, I mean, this woman is tiny, tiny, tiny. I think I mentioned in the last episode that no one's quite sure who they are, if they are a caretaker or a girlfriend, a troll, who they are. I've already talked about that in depth. So who is this woman? Now, someone on Kiwi Tapes earlier today said, you know, to one of the pictures of this woman and Chris sitting in a food court in a mall, zoomed in. Did you see that, Iris? On yes, the ring? I did. On the ring. <clears throat> yeah, what's your take on it? Well, I to me, 
I kind of agree with what the dude was saying that it was a um it looked like maybe a wedding ring promise ring something it, it's a serious relationship with ties you know it's not just like oh this is my girlfriend yeah but so either he's married or engaged one of the two and i'm looking and like i'm looking at the video still right now of chris that chris posted today and i'm showing on one i mean they have like 30 rings on both hands right and and they were also saying that that was maybe probably to disguise the fact that he has that ring mm, interesting but i also did know it notice in that still shot too there at that time there appeared to be only one ring on that whole hand right there was only one and then also chris's facebook page now says married <sighs> which apparently did a little while ago too said that they were married Wow. But are they saying but are they married or are they saying they're married to Jesus? Well, only nuns can be married to Jesus. I don't think Chris has that logic. Yeah. Um hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's and something it's, that a lot of people don't know is like Chris did become new agey right before they were arrested. Yeah, you could tell me all the little crystals and then also what he has on the the back of the Sonichu um medallion. Medallion. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And like we just haven't gotten that, that that far in the series that I've been publishing. Chris becomes super new agey. The idea guys like they pretty much convince Chris and like double down on his belief that he's the second coming of Christ. <laughs> that is so fucked up, dude. <laughs> Goddess blue heart. A sudden uh I I'm just looking at some of his stuff here the the, the prophecies. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Do you want to read some so people yeah. know what, what in the YouTube synopsis in the video, right? Like the captions, he says, all is and shall be good with the ultimate miracle and the dimension merges completion. He stated that it's complete. The merge is complete. Mm -hmm. So Iris, what are the prophecies that are coming true? Okay. Uh, let's take a look at these, shall we? Uh, first of all, for people who are not spiritually enlightened as in the sinners and the haters and the demonics a sudden change in foreign language which i guess it means that they're going to be talking old jewish and akashic it sounds like it a compelling need to download information about the akashic records causing a brain overload records those are it's a really really old manuscript that has drawings of i think it, they say aliens and what might look like dna and and just like really really weird stuff <clears throat> that nobody has been able to decode so these have never been decoded and they're going to be acting ritualistic and schizophrenic on the surface but are actually divinely guided by the gods and goddesses hmm. see okay so now the yeah i don't know this that's that's a really weird sentence um <laughs> furries <laughs> will randomly appear on the earth's surface <laughs> uh -huh. okay a number of people will be physically transformed to 1c211987 mm -hmm. the name of the reality fictional conjoined world okay you're yeah. gonna go to toontown this only counts to the good and neutrals. Personally, I'd rather be a sinner, hater, demonic. Because if tunes and comic books characters are going to come into our world, I've read some really dark <laughs> comic books and I don't want to be there. <laughs> no. Mm. Um. <laughs> everyone's truth blinding veils will disappear so everyone is going to know the truth leading up to the second coming which is his the number of religious individuals will rise dramatically are you feeling more religious uh i'm feeling more dumb <laughs> <laughs> yeah his reality this is nothing new to me this is just a variation on a theme of a doomsday cult yeah that's basically what it is yeah and I, I found it i found it interesting that uh kiwi tapes and his buddy were saying something that this is oh, so what was the next step 
of of the merge? Uh, was it going to be something like um, who are those people that killed the Heaven's Gate? Is it a Heaven's Gate event that's next? Because oh, this, interesting. This, this is what I mean. This is what all of this sounds like. It it it's just very doomsday. Because mm-hmm. personally, I don't want furries randomly <laughs> appearing across your surface. Not not to kink shame, but I am kink shaming. Um, <laughs> sorry, y'all. Deal with it. Um. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a, uh, it's a. Uh, I don't know. It's a lot. And again, this is something that Chris was convinced of. You know, assisted in uh, by trolls. Like his mental health was just downward slide, like a bobsled. I thought for sure. I thought that Chris, you know, went to jail. Chris has been in jail for two and a half years. I thought for sure with, you know, medication, maybe even therapy, something, something. Mm. I mean, that's assuming that he got it, that he would come out at least like somewhat sane, you know, like what they were hoping for Lori Vallow, right? When Lori yeah. Vallow went into Idaho and went in, they were saying, you know, schizophrenia and believed in Chad Daybell that medication and therapy would bring her out of it and make her realize what she'd done wrong. And then you have Chris Chan who goes to jail uh, with the uh, charge of potentially, allegedly uh, raping his supposedly uh, demented mother. And, you know, Chris sat there for two and a half years, which is longer than the actual, what the jail sentence would have been. So you think coming out, okay, you know, we have got a couple letters that were leaked. Uh, Chris from jail initially in the very beginning thought they were Jesus Christ. We thought for sure we'd see a different Chris come out of this. And this is the worst it's ever been. And that's sad. And I don't know if it it, it says something about uh, the supposed help that prisoners get. Um, oh man if it doesn't it should be it should be like a fucking it, lifetime infomercial for it um it's well, let's take a look at Lori. You, you mentioned Lori. if she was supposed to go in there they were going to give her meds they were going to try to help her to realize what you did was fucked up uh when she read her statement in no way shape or form did she say i'm sorry for what i did i fucked up what she said was accidents happen Yep. Suicides happen. I did nothing wrong. What the fuck? Yeah. Now very, very, have... very, very clear. Yeah. And and now this guy comes out and, and he comes out even worse for where there's been plenty of cases where a kid goes in to prison because he did some, some stupid little thing or he got busted with the guys who did the thing and he comes out a hardened criminal who starts killing people. Yes. Yes. So there is no reformation. There is just deformation, you know, and and it, 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 it's, it's very sad to see this, this person, um, get twisted. So, um, you were the, the pictures that we were seeing with what uh, people are, are, I mean, she has a name already. (laughs) I don't know if we should (laughs) mention it. Okay. So, yeah. So there are two, the, (laughs) <laughs> the uh the female companion <laughs> we shall call her yes is, has kind of been given two different names a lot of people call her egg uh which is a name from a tv show and then other people are calling her cabbage patch because she really does look like a yes, classic cabbage patch does. doll i'm she sorry does. she really she does. does there's one picture and i like had to do a double take thinking it was a cabbage patch doll yeah yeah and there's a lot of interesting theories about this this woman, isn't there? Though, <laughs> there's a lot. I, um, what do yes. you think? Uh, uh, personally, again, listen listening to uh, Kiwi tapes, I, I I have to agree with what they are saying. His buddy was saying this has to be a troll, and it is somebody who is managing him, and he has a handler now. And I have to agree. Those sentences that were in this in this video, uh, Chris Chan never knew how to do a green screen. He didn't know how to edit videos. He didn't no. know how to do that. Now, granted, he could have learned while he was in in prison, but from what I understood that the prison he was in, 
didn't have a library. It didn't have anything oh, where the he jail? Him. right the, the jail yeah. didn't have anything like that mm -hmm. um so it didn't happen there who is editing his videos also all of a sudden there is an influx of pictures and uh, drawings and sonichu stuff you know the etsy y'all Every single drawing, almost every single one is two pages and every single one starts at $200. Yes. But the cheaper ones, I think were $125? Uh, $150. Okay. And then you can buy a, a medallion, a copy, a copy of the medallion is $35. So somebody's handling him. And his theory was they, they went and they went to the storage or something they they grabbed all the drawings and they put them up on etsy and they're being sold so here's the uh if you want to do not to interrupt you but like here's for the medallion okay like listen to the ad this is the etsy description for the medallion christine's return to the world heralds the new age and these true and authentic medallions will see you through such trying times Christine has stated a mission of spreading herself to as many people as possible with these mass produced medallions being a method of delivery handcrafted to her specifications. And with her blessing, these are made in Virginia on an assembly line hired and run by her and her alone. The below message endorses these as having been touched by her magics and was recorded while incarcerated. God be with ye in these trying times. Note, these do not come with certificate or autograph. Oh, wow. Incoming link. Okay. Regular medallion. It's titled, this is the first time I'm seeing it. This is titled Regular Medallion, and medallion is misspelled. Yeah. Okay, see? there. He has so many misspellings, but yet, what was posted on that YouTube was perfect yep yep no it really was it it was not chris at all if you guys recall chris even just typing i mean it's a hot mess so robin and i were, were talking before we started recording and i was giving her my opinion of how i believe that chris uses the the spectrum or the i he uses that as a crutch and a shield how you know it's not his fault or maybe yeah uh, no it's seriously you know kind of like that little kid uh that says did i do that <laughs> right and and to me and this is just my personal opinion sometimes i wonder if it's just a manipulation of of us you know it, it's just very very strange and so back to what the Kiwi Tapes guys were saying, they think this gal is a troll. And I kind of agree. I don't think that Chris, and if, and if this is all their, their idea, then he, they are the best con artist ever. Chris has never, Chris has never shown any type of business-minded entrepreneur skill never but all of a sudden you're potentially making five thousand dollars off of people that are buying things off of your etsy your videos look professional yeah like chris has so like after the house burns down he basically becomes the professional beggar and then barb gets in on it and chris is always asking for money chris does the bare minimum right and it everything was all over the place it wasn't polished um at all it was just random shit and he'd be like five hundred to a thousand dollars for an autograph i mean it was all over the place with no organization it is well organized and defined now extremely the the sonichu uh medallion <laughs> that he has on that's all burnt to a crisp and stuff <laughs> that's chris right there right I just yes. a mess. But what we are seeing online right now, like you said, extremely polished. And it's it's not him. 
and they were wondering if he was just reading from a script because I mean, he you just think so he sounded sane almost even though what he was saying was insane he sounded like he knew what he was saying yeah he's so confident in what he's saying i don't know y'all it's it's very clear that chris chan believes that they are the second coming of jesus christ like yeah. there is no there's no getting around that in and you guys just heard you guys heard the youtube video you guys heard him speak he even talks about and claims that he has crosses in his hands i'm not sure if he's talking about like his lifelines and the creases in his hands or if he legitimately thinks that he fucking has stigmata yeah right and where would he even get a notion of something like that if you know he has an adult spectrum brain that he says he has the, the bible okay and then there was another theory that was proposed <laughs> that since there was no library in that in the jail he was being housed in the only book available was a bible and if that's all he had there to read then maybe with um the idea guys planting thoughts in his head and then him reading this stuff Maybe that's what sent him over the edge to where he thinks that he is the personification of everything that's in, written in the Bible. So something, I, something, I don't, I don't know. Like, in my opinion, Chris is, Chris is a product of, you know, nature versus nurture. Oh um, my God. He is a psychological study. No, he like, really, there should be classes on Chris Chan's psychology. Mm -hmm. It's so fascinating. And I think like, that's why I've, you know, followed the Chris Chan story for so long is like i don't think i've ever seen another human being act quite like this but yeah I, I i do feel that chris is very much on the spectrum and again the spectrum is all across the board but i do think that chris is is pretty low functioning i just where is he living he's not obviously not living at home with barb he apparently went to the home everyone snapped pictures of his car um but he's clearly not living there so where is he living but, I mean, he had a full ass background on that video and it was professionally edited. You can't, he, he didn't do that in a group home. No, he did not. Uh, he, it had to have been green screen. And some of that editing went, when those five Chris's show up and they're in sync. <laughs> yes. Five Chris's. I mean, come on. That he Someone didn't do that. Modicum. No. And he, he, he didn't have access to a computer, right? In jail. No. And he didn't learn this in a month, in a month and a half. So someone is is literally being his handler, like Iris said. And you're right. I mean, we haven't seen really anybody else. We saw uh, two people out with Chris one time way early on after the release. They were older women. They they aren't doing this. No. Nah. Who is Cabbage Patch? I'm going to start calling her Cabbage Patch. It's nothing against her at all. And it's not making fun of her or body shaming her at all. She literally looks like a Cabbage Patch. Like, I'm obviously really impressed. No, and, and she now has become part of the Chris Chandler. And yep, this she's is she's Christery now. Yeah, she is Christery and she is now the Cabbage Patch doll. That is who she is now. And she has to be a troll. I'm sorry. I can't with everything. You know, there Chris Chan is trying to come out like a dollar store wish ordered cult leader. <laughs> and it ain't happening. It ain't happening. Cabbage Patch Girl, another theory that was floated is that she was also from the same group home. Maybe she got released a little bit earlier than Chris. Um, but uh, the other theory is that she it could be legitimate that maybe, hey, she met Chris in a group home of some sort and they found love. I just I don't find that to be likely that that is the I mean you wish that's what happened but you both you and I know that it's not you know and then you have the picture supposedly the grainy blurry CCTV footage because guys this is where we're at we're in a place in history right now where if Chris Chan walks into a CVS someone who works there is going to snatch cell phone footage of the CCTV camera to show the <laughs> internet. Yeah. That's how notorious Chris Chan is. But like it looks like he is hugging her. He is very physically close at least. Mm -hmm. That's concerning. Is this a troll that's going all the way and allowing him to fondle her? They're deep. They are going deep if this is a troll. 
I mean, the deepest that but anyone's ever seen, gone, really. Yeah, but we have seen some crazy ass shit coming from trolls. So, like Blue Spike, the 13 year old right. that had cyber sex with Chris every night for months. Oh, that's so um, 13 year old child was probably the most evil of them all. And then the idea guys. Um, then you had God, there've been so many that Jackie, the troll, a bunch of female trolls who pretended to be his girlfriend mm-hmm. or, mm-hmm. you know, male trolls. Um, he, we've seen a lot. If this is a troll, she's behind enemy lines. Like she has infiltrated. This is, this is the troll. This is the greatest troll of all time. Of all fucking time. If this is actually a troll. Wow. I know. But, and if it's not a troll and they did mean in the home and she, this gal, if, if Cabbage Patch Girl recognized who this was and the, the 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 potential for manipulation to her benefit. Mm-hmm. Damn. I mean, look how much he's selling his artwork for. Yeah. Five or like dollars minimum if you bought everything on there. Yeah. And that's not to say here, Chris, draw something so we can throw it up on the Etsy Etsy page. No, Chris is drawing it and putting it putting it out there. Yeah. Selling it for that much talismans and oh my gosh it's wild i don't know y'all i i don't know if she's i i have no opinion i'm 50 50 split on whether this is a troll or an honest and true girlfriend i don't know i think i'm 60 40 (laughs) you're 60 40 what troll yeah 60 40 troll i'm 50 50 split i have no idea but i'm gonna be super pissed if this is actually a girlfriend and chris chan has an honest and true girlfriend and i'm single (laughs) My will to live will just evaporate the second that's confirmed. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, it's funny. Oh. <laughs> what You're the so fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Seriously, though, imagine, like, I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, though, <laughs> fuck. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen i'm just completely shocked um i mean like i said in that video he literally said you can see the crosses in my hands from where i was hung in jerusalem or whatever and blah 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 he literally thinks he is the second coming goddess blue heart and man making that media round of um you know the Facebook, the Twitter posts, the YouTube mm. video, updated Etsy, of course. I don't know. I'm just, I'm in utter shock and disbelief. And we shall be here to witness it all. Yeah. I don't want to become like the Chris Chan channel, but it's just, it's so fascinating. That being said, y'all, observe Christery. Don't make Christery. <laughs> oh, I like that. I didn't come up with it. That's the quickie. Oh, that is the quickie. But that's awesome. (laughs) Observe it. (laughs) Right? Don't make Christery. Observe it. Do not get involved with this person. And I'm not saying that of being, hey, don't bully this person. Honestly, I don't give a shit. He most likely sexually assaulted his dementia addled mother. Allegedly. Allegedly sexually assaulted and allegedly dementia. Uh, Like, she allegedly has dementia. Um, I don't really care, to be honest. Not only that, all the other sick shit that he do- that he's done, such as severe animal abuse and neglect, getting a neighbor's animal put down mm-hmm. out of spite, um, all Sea of the hateful... Yeah, yeah. He- Chris knows how to lie. I mean, don't even... You- do you remember when he had, like, the multiple girlfriends and kept trying to play on both? Like, they were both mm-hmm. trolls and the... <laughs> friends were trolls and they were talking to each other so they knew but it just showed chris's level of understanding that he can lie and attempt to manipulate yeah i'm 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 sure he knows do not and that's not saying that i care personally honestly at this point with who he is it's the fact that you will be doxxed you will be doxxed uh do not also it makes chris feel important and we don't want chris to feel important like, if I had my way, I would wave a wand and Chris would disappear from the internet entirely. But then what would you do? Uh, go back to less interesting things, I guess. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. Oh, goodness. But do you have any additional thoughts, Iris, on all of this debacle? No, just a, a thank you for, uh, you know, asking me to come and talk to you about this. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed throwing my two cents down. No, thank you. I don't know a lot of people who are fascinated by a Chris Chan. Um, a lot of you listeners are like super into it and excited about it. You know, no one really has gone all the way back. So super excited to continue talking to you about this. Woohoo! And on to the next. <laughs> Indeed. And uh, I think my ending is going to be pretty, uh, pretty on par, guys, because we know what's going to happen in this story. Until next crime. <laughs>